What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Stan of SJ Square Photography bringing you back another tutorial video to day. Now, today's video is actually going to be very, very simple, very, very fast. I'm just actually going to show you how to use a fill layer to actually change the color of the model. So this is what this is going to be all about. So I'm just going to be, like I said, once again, it's going to be a very, very quick video. Now, as you can see right here on this model, uh, her skin arm is a little bit darker than the rest of her complexion. So therefore, we're just going to lighten that up and I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, just using fill layer and also you can use the healing brush as well. Um, so let me just go ahead and do this. So first, what you want to do is duplicate layers as always. And now what we're going to do now is we're going to make this into a frequency set layers layer. So we can go ahead and get it on the tones and everything on a separate layer. Okay. Now, once that's being done, we'll go to the low frequency layer. And now I'm just going to show you the healing brush technique real quick. Uh, the healing brush, on an affinity is almost sort of like the cloning brush especially when you're doing it on the low frequency layer and I'm going to show you how so as you can see right here this little area right there is I'm you see how light it is so I'm going to go ahead and I was using the healing brush I got the opacity on 75 flow on 50 you can do it as you like as of right now I'm just doing it a little bit higher so you can see it for tutorial purposes but as you can see here It is now no longer there no more. Uh, it has completely taken away. So once again, it's almost like like a like a cloning brush. The healing brush is actually. Uh, once again, I do another example. As you can see, let's just focus on this rosy cheeks right here. And if I want to dole that out, then I can dole that out. It's not so rosy no more now. All of a sudden, it's just like the normal. Same thing here. If you see a little different coloration, just press and hold. You just pretty much just color in what you need to color in. And bam, this is replacing color. So now I'm going to show you how to do this change arm. We could do the same thing anywhere. So if I want to go to an arm right here, same thing. Just, I can just press and hold and then make my color and place it where I want to place it. So now I'm going to show you how to do this with the fill layer. So all you want to do is you want to go up the top, press fill layer. As you can see, we have that right now. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to go back down to my low frequency over here. I'm going to go to the, my color picker and I'm just going to pick a color that I think that's really average. That's about right. I'm going to hit that. Go back to my, oops, let me go back here. Uh, click that, go back to the field. Now it's completely filled. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this into average, as you can see. And now what I'm gonna do next is invert the mask. So now I can go ahead and paint it on anywhere I feel like it. So now what I'm going to do is go to the paint brush tool. Remember black conceal, white reveals. I'm going to go to white. Once again, that's going to be really sloppy so you can get an idea. And now I'm just going to paint that on. As you can see, her arm is down the color of that. Once again, I'm just going to do it a real sloppy job just so you can get the effect. Of course, when she has tattoos, you actually have to go in there and really, really you know, be really, really precise when somebody has tattoos on the arm because as you can see, it's affecting the arm as well. So I'm gonna cut that on and off as you can see. Now I'm gonna go a step further and I'm gonna go to the three prongs. Sorry, not three prongs. The three prongs right there. I'm gonna go to source and now I'm going to have this so it won't 
can really affect like the midtones area of it. So I'm just going to bring this down so it can really, really affect like the midtones uh, and not so much as, you know, the shadows or the highlights, which you can do this too. But I just don't want it to affect it as much. Right there. And let's cut this on and off, as you can see. Now, the shade is kind of matching that shade. Once again, like today, it was going to be a real quick tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please go out and practice this uh, and put it into your own work, incorporate it into your own work. Uh, as you can see, this model, Daisy, uh, did this a long time ago. Uh, love this photo, actually. Really, really, really dope photo. But anyway, if you have any suggestions, please leave it down in the comment. If you want to see something in particular that you want me to show cover on the tutorial please leave it down in the comment and of course if you like my content please consider yourself subscribing uh like share do all that good jazz and until the next video peace